Hello and welcome, my name's Necro and we are back with some Trials of Fire. Now I've not recorded this or anything in a little bit because I have been away and I have also been having some technical issues which is unfortunate but you know, stuff happens. I'm not going to swear because this is a Christian server so I don't swear on camera. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah so as you can see we've got a couple new updates. I've not been on in a little while, but I do believe this God um, God Hunter update's been out for a while. The hot fix might be brand new, but yeah. So first, they've got a regular fix, you know, fixes crashes, a bunch of other stuff. I mean, it, it, it's bug fixes. I don't think we need to go through all that. It's like going through the terms and conditions of stuff. But the big stuff. So they've got a brand new quest, God Hunter. It comes with its own storyline, bosses, including the first tip four boss. Oh my. So, custom quest mode where you can play how you want to play, set the number of objectives, random seed, and any modifiers before diving in. That's cool. So, new bosses are also in random play modes, combat run, endless odyssey, and... Hold on a minute, didn't I have that idea? Jeez, I think me and Dax need to have words. I'm certain I mentioned this in a video. <laughs> Though, to be fair, it wasn't exactly like some idea no one else in the world could have had, so... No, even so, I mean, like, if it... Even so, though. Cool, cool that they're working that in. I might have to do a video of that after this one. But yeah, so the big changes. New epic quest, God Hunter. Sounds exciting. It's longer and more challenging than the Water Gem quest. Hmm. Realistically, I probably should finish the Water Gem quest before doing this, but, you know, I've, I've got time on my hands. Screw the rules. So three new bosses, custom quest, define the length of your experience, add any modifiers, swap map seeds with friends for a ship. Oh, that's cool. Co op with the luck on this game now. Also, I should probably pattern this in case this winds up in the next update. <laughs> Alright, so they've changed Phosphor Arrow. So, three new bosses, two new standard enemies, three legendary items, 14 regular items, and the amount of stamina we gain from camping in all non shelter locations by five. Okay, cool. That's increased. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. So, new adventure. I have been doing some for fun, but. I mean, I don't mind just leaving that. So, I think I'm going to go with... I quite like this combo. I think it's a nice combo. Just need to update what they've got. Oh, that's cool. That's a good attack, actually. Double strike is decent. Running shot. Give that the alchemist. That seems like a good one for the alchemist. Eh, that's alright, but... I don't know, that seems like I need a very specific circumstance for it to pay off. Magic... Meh. Meh. That's actually a pretty good one, given that... Oh, wait, hold on. Who can use it? Yeah, the Warlord can use it. I don't know why I can't give it to him. Because it, it says they can have it. Hmm, maybe it's just... They can have it, but they can't have his starting gear. Charge... That's eh, alright. Meh. Alright, let's get to the quest. So, God Hunter. Four stages. I'm, stick I'm sticking to medium. You know, I mean, I might not be finishing it, but it's not a case of uh, it's so difficult I'm not making any progress. I am. It's just, you know, this game is quite tricky, and I mean, it's not so much chance, but it's it's kind of roguelike in that, you know, even if you're good at it, it's still easy for you to lose if circumstances don't go your way. But again, it's not a matter of chance. Like, it's kind of like, you know, one tactical mistake can, like, bite you in the backside quite badly. But anyway, let's get to it. Can't change the portrait. We can change the gender, but without the portrait, it's kind of hollow. Like Vince, I don't, I don't know. I don't know many men who, who pull off that that hair. My uncle did actually. Not anymore. He did though. And to be fair, actually, I used to have long hair. Not, not long like you know below the ear. Mine kind of puffed up a bit. 
Mine, mine was just thick, actually. Mine wasn't long. Mine was just really thick. It's like a twisted jungle where, like, all the vines start to slowly choke the other plants. I mean, honestly, it's a bit like that jungle in the um, second Hobbit movie. Ah, uh, to be young again. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's just pick some random names. I'm going to give a shout-out to someone. This isn't their actual name. This was a name of a character they had. But, I mean, if they if they watch this vid, they'll, they'll know what it means. A little inside joke. This is also an inside joke, but it's kind of it kind of works at the same time outside of it. Actually, I'm going to make this one Dingus. And... Actually, not no. I'll let the Warlord be Dingus because they might be able to just pull it off a bit in like some funny way. Now, I'm going to call this one Billy, which is also another inside joke. So, the settlement to Rowan's sign. Although farms and homes were magically bruised, just no food has left the people broken and desperate. Organized mags aided by powerful elemental magic, raided the farm ground east of town and abducted many of the workers. No! Many of the defenders, the voiders. Oh, what are voiders? Huh. Wow. Small groups from the first quickly settled. So I'm wondering if this is kind of running alongside what happened in the Water Gem quest, or is this like an alternate reality where this happened instead? Let's see, you went to a world of worth looking. Mm. I negotiate. <laughs> Billy managed. <laughs> Billy is the name. Ooh. I'll give them this. What does this give them? Let's let's give it a try. Do I have fifty? Oh, I do. Ah, why not? Good rest and good food. Ah, oh, why did I? S ah, you know it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's take him up in his offer. It's going the right way, so I mean, it's not too much of an issue. No, no, you went the wrong way. Hmm. Ooh. Nice souvenir. See what I'm facing. All right. Uh, get rid of advance. Play this. Get rid of adrenaline. Play march. And they can still move, actually, so... Play that, play that. Um, let me see how that card works. Every time you play a card that affects another friendly character. You know, I'm going to test if that works for every character. So if I play March and I get... Okay, it doesn't. I know now. You know, I wouldn't have been able to use Chaos Missiles anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. At least I know. Something new. Ooh. 
Oh, it's grim. Jeez, that's a good card. Alright. Rid of that. Rid of that. And I'll get rid of that for more shield. Not the most damaging of first moves, but it's still an alright. Ooh, damn, that's a good one. But fortunately, that's a bowman, so I should be okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Screw up, just do this. Actually, not now, I'll just put that back and. thought that would get me the bear. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to lose anyone this turn, I don't think, so it should be okay. I'm taking some damage, but... Damn, that was a tough hit. Oh, you know what's fine. I'm about to finish them off anyway. Oh damn, nearly knocked my mic. There we go, nice. Ooh, very nice. Hmm, that's a good card actually. I can make it to that farm before I run out of stamina. Shoot. Um. Nah, no, I'll stick with what I got. Now I'll drop off these supplies. No, I'm fighting my way through.
Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh damn, that's a good card. Fingers crossed this doesn't go away. Oh no, that's bad. Shoot. Yeah. I'm glad I stopped to make sure that that card did what I thought it did. force him to actually waste cards moving towards me. Oh, never mind. That's enough to save me from a death here. Oh no. Oh, thank goodness. That could have gone so much worse. That could have gone so, so much worse there. Really glad that kind of panned out well. Alright, now I'm gonna up them. I'll give that, that's that's better. Alright, let's see about gear. Oh wait, no, hold on, I want this to go to them, and this to go to the warrior. Alright, after speaking about you quickly look for the closest building, no, so closest rattling in the Yukon Mask. I'll take two supplies. Maybe I should rest quickly. I didn't like the look of that um, thing.
Huh. Hmm. I did not have that much. I'm gonna have to rest here. Well, that'll be enough to keep me going at least. Except the servants off there. Yeah. Alright, as you approach the room town, you believe to be the stronghold of the fanatics that took your people. You managed to silently take our sanctuary and approach the main stronghold. Temple of large fires burn brightly nearby, and you realize that the child knows that these beings used for sacrifice, presumably for the goddess Igna. There was a fire when the four elemental gods worshipped by human and elf before the cataclysm. It's believed Igna conspired with the elves to cause the cataclysm, usurp her position, and kill her three siblings. Most believers take the current state of the world, the scorched lands, the acidic seas, and fiery oral storms to prove their success. Hmm. Pleasant. Alright, desperate to stop the rituals, you. Oof. You rush to where the prisoners are held and are immediately met by the leader of the bandits. He is flanked by a small group of warriors and calls out a challenge in the name of his goddess. It seems defeating this bandit is the fastest way to the fanatics. Let's fight. Alright, let's do this. Swipe, play, whoops, wrong one, play leadership. Zero. Defend zero at the beginning of. How the hell is that helpful? Hold on to running shot. Running shot's a pretty good card, actually. Worse. Okay, I might not be lit yet. Oh, no. That's bad. My one hook. Oh no, he's got a shield.
Yes. It's not a ton, but at least it's something gone. Jeez, he's really going for my warlord. Oh no. Damn it. Dead. Not bad, that's the first one down. I can cure that. I can rebuild them. Alright, let's give them a level up. Level up! Another level. That's a good one. You know what? No, I will go measure blow. That's a that is a good card. Plus one willpower every time. Every time you take damage, you take one and two. Hell no. It's an awful. That's just. No, that's just a horrible, horrible cost. Despite your defeat of the leader, the rest of the fanatics close around you menacingly. Suddenly, the pies surrounding you flare up like the sun itself with great arcs of coral fire drawn between three of them. Not between them. A humanoid figure, maybe three or four times your height, steps from one of the pies and looks around. Taking in its new surroundings, many of the fanatics fall to their knees, crying out Igna as loud as they can. The figure turns to those chanting, and a stream of solar fire jumps from its outstretched arm to engulf the worshippers. Their chants briefly turn to screams and they then fall silent. The figure then begins to stride from the camp away from your party, incinerating anyone and anything it passes near to. Damn. The bandits are now scattered and many of the remnants of your people were immolated as the creature left the camp. You gather the survivors and quickly summarize that this creature, whether it is the goddess Igna or not, cannot be left to roam the grasslands. One of the rescued hunters admits that she had met and befriended an elven mystic who had taken refuge with a small group of elves in the abandoned dwarven town where no surface dwellers would find them. A group of elven mystics might well know more about what this could mean, so you agree to set up and seek their advice while the rest make their way back to Terralyn. Alright, got some supplies off. Oh, I really want to use this now. And I can. Awesome. 